द क्वेश्चन इज दैट थर्टी टू ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल प्रेजेंस इन एक्टिव लेबर द बेबी इज डिलीवर्ड एंड देन यू आर ट्राइंग टू सेपरेट द डिलीवर द प्लेसेंडा वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस टेक्निक ऑप्शन आर बर्न्स मार्शल लव सेट्स ब्रांड एंड रूज एंड पिनार्ड्स सो इफ यू नो दैट बर्न्स मार्शल इज वॉट इट इज Yes, delivery of the after coming head in breech. Love says is when you want to deliver the shoulders in uh, extended arms in breech. Brand and Rose is the technique of delivering the placenta. In this, you one hand you giving a traction on the cord, the other hand is on the lower abdomen, and you are giving an upward pressure to it to prevent the. inversion of the uterus and pinards maneuver is when you want to deliver the extended legs in breech so the answer is brand and drews technique next question a pregnant woman in labor presents at term on examination the pelvic grip reveals a soft fetal part ultrasound confirms breech no other risk factor which type of breech is most likely here to aap se ye pucha hai ki kaun sa breech sabse zyada common hota hai The options are frank, complete, incomplete, footly. So the answer here is frank bridge. It is the commonest type. Next question: A primary gravida presents in active labor at full term pregnancy. Pelvic examination reveals a five centimeter dilated cervix. Base presentation: so that the chin is placed anteriorly. Clinically adequate pelvis. Electronic field monitoring reactive. Most appropriate step in managing the patient. Kya karna chahiye? तो क्वेश्चन पढ़ के क्या समझ में आ रहा है कि चिन एंटीरियर है मतलब मेंटो एंटीरियर है और फेस प्रेजेंटेशन है है ना और फाइव सेंटीमीटर डायलेटेड सर्विक्स है तो एक्टिव लेबर में प्रेजेंट किया है फाइव सेंटीमीटर डायलेटेशन के साथ में मतलब लेबर इज प्रोग्रेसिंग स्मूथली एंड ई एफ एम इज ऑल्सो रिएक्टिव सो वॉट यू कैन डू ऑप्शन आर परफॉर्म इमीजिएट सीजर इन सेक्शन Second is allow spontaneous progress of labor. Third is apply forceps, and fourth is allow labor spontaneously until complete cervical dilatation is achieved, and then you apply vacuum. So the correct option here will be spontaneous progress of labor. You have to allow because men to anterior can deliver vaginally. so no need for immediate cesarean section or any other operative intervention now the next question is a pregnant women at term pregnancy presents with labor pains with breech all the following are associated with occurrence of breech presentation except so which is not associated with breech ye puch rahe hain the options are placenta accreta fetal malformation uterine anomaly and corneal implantation of the placenta so placenta accreta kya hota hai it is the type of placenta which invades in the uterine wall in the myometrium it is associated with placenta previa okay and uh, placenta previa is associated with breech okay fetal malformation like hydrocephalus are associated with breech uterine anomalies are associated with breech any mullerian anomalies are associated corneal implantation of the placenta is not so the answer is d a 24 year old gravida 1 para 0 rh negative 36 weeks a uh, breech presentation and is considering external cephalic version she should be told what so he, she should be offered general anesthesia so she, then the procedure can be done with oligo hydramnios prophylaxis with antid is not necessary engagement is there it is not a contraindication and the last option is ki tocolysis has been shown to improve the results so the answer will be last one tocolysis will improve the result that is a sure thing because you are trying to rotate the baby inside the womb this is, this can cause rupture of the uterus sufficient liquor is very important and so prophylaxis with anti d in a rh negative is very important and after engagement the procedure is difficult and 
is considered a contraindication so the answer here will be the last option tocolysis has been shown to improve the results okay now the next question here is which of the following is a contraindication for delivery using vacuum the options are face second baby of twins post term occipital transverse and chorioamnionitis answer is face face mein kabhi bhi vacuum nahi lagate hain okay baki sab mein koi contraindication nahi hai umbilical cord prolapse is most likely to occur with the options are frank breach complete breach so obviously it will be frank क्योंकि फ्रैंक ब्रिज में लेग्स एक्सटेंडेड होते हैं और साइड से एम्बिलिकल कॉर्ड स्लिप हो सकता है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 30 ईयर ओल्ड ग्रेविडा टू पैरा वन फीमेल एट 37 सेवन वीक्स ऑफ जिस्टेशन इज हियर फॉर अ रूटीन विजिट हिस्ट्री ऑफ डिलीवरिंग 4.3 पॉइंट थ्री के जी बेबी एंड हियर शी इज फिफ्टी परसेंट सर्विक्स इज एफेस्ड वन टू टू सेंटीमीटर डायलिटेशन नाव बेबी इज थ्री पॉइंट टू के जी अल्ट्रासाउंड सेज एवरीथिंग इज नॉर्मल एंड इट इज अ फ्रैंक ब्रिज Liker is all right. Head is well flexed. Now, what is not a correct management option in this case? First option is allow the patient to undergo vaginal breech delivery whenever she goes into labor. Perform an emergency cesarean section now. Pinard's maneuver can be done for the delivery of extended legs. So the correct option here will be. You allow the patient to undergo vaginal breech delivery whenever she goes into labor because history of delivering 4.3 kg baby in the past is itself rules out any pelvic deformity. Pelvic is very good. You can give a trial for breech in this pregnancy. Now, what is the most common complication of external cephalic version? So for ECV, we give uh, uh, analgesia to the lady after 38 weeks. Take her in OT. Give tocolysis. Koi bhi beta to agonist. Written consent. And then perform version. Version ke samay mein membrane rupture ho sakti hai. To leaking ho jayegi. Bleeding ho sakti hai vaginally. Fetal distress ho sakta hai. Which will be shown on CTG as fetal decelerations ya bradycardia persistent. सिंगल परसिस्टेंट ब्रैडी कार्डिया भी हो सकता है जैसे फिटल हार्ट एटी से कम चला जाता है और थ्री मिनट से ज़्यादा पर बना रहता है तो दीज आर द मेन कॉम्प्लिकेशंस एन एब्सोल्यूट कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन फॉर विजाइनल ब्रिज डिलीवरी इट इज़ फुटलिंग ब्रिज येस फुटलिंग विल कन्वर्ट इन टू कॉर्ड प्रोलेब्स एंड विल कॉम्प्लिकेट सो फुटलिंग मे यू नेवर परफॉर्म वेजाइनल डिलीवरी टू डू अजीरियन सेक्शन इन ब्रिज प्रेजेंटेशन Frank breach is the commonest. Brachial plexus injury is a recognized complication. Prolapse of the umbilical cord can occur. Fetal mortality is increased. All of the above. So yes, all the options are correct. Here, the incidence of breach presentation at term is twenty percent, ten percent, three point five percent, fifteen percent, zero point five percent. The answer is 3.5 percent. Hmm? Breach presentation at term is 3.5 percent. Next question: The following are contraindication to external cephalic version, except. So, in this case, which contraindication is not available for the version? Contracted pelvis, placenta previa, multiple pregnancy, presence of cervical suture in C2, scarred uterus. तो ये जो है ये सारे कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन है इनमें से कौन सा नहीं है कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड पेल्विस में तो करेंगे क्या ईसीवी ईसीवी क्यों करते हैं ताकि हम विजानल डिलीवरी करा सकें तो कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड पेल्विस में वो पॉसिबल नहीं होगी प्लेसेंटा प्रीविया में भी हम नहीं करना चाहेंगे प्लेसेंटा एवल्स हो जाएगा तो ब्लीड करेंगे मल्टीपल प्रेगनेंसी में इतनी स्पेस ही नहीं होती है यूट्रस में तो हम नहीं करते हैं वर्जन स्कार्ड यूट्रस में स्कार रप्चर हो सकता है लेकिन अगर सर्वाइकल सीचर है एनसर्कलाज किया हुआ है तो कर सकते हैं फेस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑल केसेस मस्ट बी डिलीवर्ड बाय सीजर इन सेक्शन नो मेंटो इंटीरियर कैन डिलीवर वेजाइनली सो दिस ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग ऑल केसेस कैन बी डिलीवर्ड वेजाइनली 
no the presenting diameter is occipito frontal no it is submento pragmatic or submento vertical so submento pragmatic is 9.5 and submento vertical is 10 the fetal head is hyperflexed no no it is hyper extended mento posterior position must be delivered by cesarean section that is absolutely correct it should be delivered by cesarean section now the next question with regard to breech presentation you have to tell which one is correct a option in vaginal delivery the fetus is prone to kephal hematoma second hyper extension of the fetal head is favorable third external kephalic version reduces the breech presentation at term to one percent fourth mid trimester amniocentesis is likely to result in breech presentation at term and the last option, the perinatal morbidity is 10 times higher than in kephalic presentation. So here, the correct option is ECV reduces the breech presentation. Because if you do, if you perform version, then it can reduce the uh, breech presentation incidence. The rest, all the options are not correct. Fetus is in vaginal delivery. Fetus is prone to kephal hematoma. Kaise hoga? Presenting part mein hota hai kephal hematoma. To presenting part to yahan per buttocks hai. Hyper extension of the fetal head is favorable. It, how can it be favorable? Hyper extended head will present with a greater presenting diameter. And this will not be favorable. Then fourth option they go mid trimester amniocentesis is likely to result in breach. No, no, nothing like that. The perinatal morbidity is 10 times higher. Aisa nahi hota hai. Toh, the correct option is C.